Let's begin to understand merge sort. The idea is we want to recursively call a function that is going to divide and conquer this array into subarrays. Once we reach the base case, which is when we can't divide a subarray into another subarray anymore, we want to start combining these subarrays back up and sorting them as we go into this original array. And I'm going to show you how it's done as if we were calling this recursively. As I mentioned, we're going to divide and conquer. So I would call a function that would divide the original array into a left half and a right half. And each time we do this, we're going to first deal with the left half. So we now have a subarray of the first four elements. And again, we're going to call a recursive function on this subarray. We're going to deal with the left half first. So we're going to take 85 and 24, and they're going to go down to another level. And then we can still call a recursive function on this because the size of the array is not less than two. So we call a recursive function, and now we're left with just 85. From here, we can no longer call the recursive function because the subarray holding just one element, 85, the size is less than two which means for 85, we're gonna push that back up one level. So we dealt with the left half of this subarray. Now we're gonna deal with the right half. So now we bring 24 down and now we can't do anything else with this. So we would also bring 24 back up, but this time we're gonna sort 24 and 85 into that subarray. So when we bring 24 back up, now these are gonna be sorted 24 and 85. Now in the subarray that was holding four elements, we dealt with the left half, so we're going to push them back up into that level. And then we still have to deal with 63 and 45, the right half. So let's go ahead and bring 24 and 85 back up. And they are sorted in that left half. So now we bring 63 and 45 down. And now we have to recursively call the right half of that array. We call the recursive function on this subarray holding 63 and 45. We deal with the left half first. So we take 63, bring it down to another level. And here we can say we can no longer perform a recursive function because we reached the base case where the size of this array is less than two. So now we're gonna bring 63 back up and then we're gonna bring 45 back down to that level because we're gonna deal with the right half of that array now. Remember, we deal with the left half and then the right half. With 45, we can no longer divide that anymore. We reached the base case, so we're gonna bring that back up. But this time we're also gonna be sorting 45 and 63 in this array. Now, when we bring 45 and 63, we bring that back up to the next level where 24 and 85 are, we're going to sort that whole array. So now it'll be 24, 45, 63, and 85. Now that we're done with the left half of the original array and calling all those recursive calls to sort them, we bring them back up to the original array and that left half is now sorted. Now we have to deal with the right half and we're going to do the same thing. The idea of merge sort again is that we're going to divide the original array into subarrays, recursively calling a function to do that for us. When we reach a level or the base case of that recursion call, we want to propagate those elements back up the level. You can think of this as like a merge sort tree. We bring it back up and as we bring the elements back up, we want to combine them and sort them as we do so. Now the time complexity of this merge sort is big O of n times log of n. You just successfully completed merge sort, or at least you went through an explanation of merge sort using recursion. More than likely, this is the first sorting algorithm that you're exposed to that uses recursion. The concept of recursion isn't easy and it doesn't come naturally. Most of the time you're going to see it in the classroom or when you're understanding some of these algorithms for the first time. You can accomplish the merge sort also using iteration, not just recursion. Generally, you're going to see recursion when you perform a merge sort. I understand it's not the easiest thing. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll be more than happy to help you watch these other sorting algorithm videos. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.